is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it's Monday. So we are doing Mood Board Monday. And then over on the Paper Issues Facebook group, one of the challenges for um, October, one of the pop-up crop challenges, is a mood board. And of course, we're doing all movie-themed for October. So I am taking inspiration from it as well. So I put the mood board up in the corner so you can kind of take a look at that. Um, also, it helps me with the voiceover. So um, I really enjoy when if somebody's using a sketch or a scrap lift or um, basically anything that they're going to refer to, um, I like when it's up on the screen. So do you guys like that it's up on the screen? I'm very, I would be very interested to know, or does it, does it not really matter? So I am starting out with this fun photo of my daughter when we were in the Redwoods. And um, so the first part of inspiration I am going to take is kind of that, um, that bluish background. So you see that both in the candy part as well as the one with the, I don't know what those are called, the thing that goes click and then you say take 152 whatever. And um, so I'm going with that for my background. And then um, I am using the May Paper Issues kit. I just love this kit, like so, so, so much. Um, and so it comes with this rose gold mist. So I am just doing splatters. So kind of like the middle, I think it's really supposed to be stars. But if you look at it just quickly, it could be splatters. So I'm adding in some splatters there. And then... Um, I am taking that piece that I honestly thought I was not going to use. Isn't that funny when you pick a, um, a piece of paper and you're like, oh, I'm never going to use this side. And then you totally use it. Like, I find that so interesting. So I'm taking that and that's just like a hodgepodge, kind of like either the popcorn or the candy. So now I am going to do my picture. So I had a little bit of um, that wood grain left, and that is one of my favorite wood grains. So you can buy that just by itself um, on the Paper Issues website. And if I can, if I can remember, I will totally link it down below because love, love, love that. So back to my photo, also with some. Uh, vellum that came in the the kit and so if you look at the uh photo with the director's chair it kind of looks foggy and so to me the uh the vellum kind of makes things look foggy so it's kind of a fogginess that you have um in the back of the photo and then um, I have, I think this is my last, um, actually I made this layout before the one that I made on Wednesday, last Wednesday. So there's a few supplies that you see in my bin there that, um, we're still, we're, we're, we're used now, but, but we're still available. So I love these tags. I love any collection that does a whole sheet of tags. I think I think that was one of the smartest things that they have done in the scrappy world lately. And um, so I have those two blocks um, and they're kind of rusticy. So I'm going to put those down. And then um, I have some fussy cut florals from one of the pattern papers that I had um, fussy cut out. So I am going to add those as well as this yellow bird. 
and I'm also going to get a bee and a butterfly on here. So that's, that's super fun. Oh, and a bug. I got four animals on this page. That's pretty good. I feel like. So we always call, um, my daughter, Julianne bug. So I could have a gazillion ladybugs and I can get them on all kinds of photos with her. So that works out really good. And then, um, I am going to get a label on here and you can associate the label with either the first or the first or the third thing on the top row where, um, where it's kind of lines with the words in. So that's where, um, I am probably just going to put the date and, and where we were at. Cause there's really not much to say for this. Um, so while I am doing that, let's talk a little bit about mood boards. So I've actually heard lately that people are intimidated by mood boards, which I think the mood board is like one of the easiest challenges to do. And the reason I say that is because you can take the smallest little thing to many things. So I tend to use a mood board with like a lot of things. Um, but you could just use a color scheme or you could look at this and be like, oh, you got your title from there um, because the middle one says something we're, we're in a tight spot. So I use that for my title. It says you're in a tight spot book. So that's how I did it. So you could just mainly go off of that and be done. Um, so I find them super easy to use and you can pull the like most minuscule thing ever. Like you could look at that popcorn and be like, oh, that's a black background. I'm going to do a layout with a black background. That's it. You're done. You use the mood board. You completed the challenge. So I highly encourage you to use mood boards. Um, I try to get the most out of them, but you can also just use them in the tiniest and that's totally fine too. Now, I am just going to finish it up with these absolutely gorgeous sequins that came in the, the kit. So, um, of course I have a butterfly and a bee and they need some, um, trails. Um, I don't, I don't do it for the birds, <laughs> but the bees and the butterflies all get sequin trails. I use Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, which you can pick up in the shop. And, um, I use this crystal katana to pick up my sequins and then stick them all down. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love to chat with you. I am going to put some twine in this tag hole. Um, the kit came with some twine, but I've already used it all. So I'm just using this, um, pink and white baker's twine to cover that tag hole. Um, so if you don't have this kit, you need to get your hands on it. You can use my code crystal and that will save you 20% um, on anything in the shop, actually. Um, but if you have any questions about anything or you just want to talk about mood boards, let me know and um, we'll chat. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, there's my code and remember to wear your crown. I'll see you next time. Bye.